have you ever been given a gift that you just know you don't deserve whether it's extra time off from work even though you used all your vacation whether it's an extra day off from school even though you're behind on your classes this is exactly what the ravens are getting a gift that they don't deserve by right now as of right here right now today that could all change tomorrow but as of right here right now with them being on the playoffs is definitely something that they do not deserve. <laughs> After getting absolutely demolished, molly whopped, dog walked, beat down, all that stuff by Joe Burrow and them Cincinnati Bengals. I'm going to start just calling him 500 Burrow. 500 Burrow. Because anyway, we could talk about that game more tomorrow. But... After getting a beat, after losing, how do after losing four games in a row? Now, I ain't complaining. Trust me, I'm not. But how are after losing four games in a row, how are the Ravens the seventh seed in the AFC? It just doesn't make sense. But that's 2021 for you. That's the 2021 NFL season for you. Nothing makes sense, especially when it comes to the Ravens. We always talk about how it's a game of inches and how just so much stuff matters. This is why football is far better than basketball, because everything matters that much more in football. The Ravens, shout out to the Chiefs. We love you, Chiefs. The Ravens have been getting saved all year this year by other teams. We have talked about it week after week after week after week after week, where we're like, oh, we cheering for this team to win, and that will help the Ravens out. Boom, it happens. Oh, we cheering for this team to win, and if that happens, then, then it'll help the Ravens. And it, it just keeps on happening week after week after week. These last two games, it's time for Ravens to save themselves. Ravens, it, it, it just, again, nothing makes sense. Even the Raiders, the Raiders right now are like the, the ninth seed. No, the tenth seed. Well, that's going to flip to ninth seed when Steelers when that loss is official but the Raiders who beat the Ravens they even got the same record right now they don't even have it they don't even have the uh the, the tiebreaker because when it's three teams or more tied with the same record they throw head to head out the window they throw that out the window because you know as, as y'all know like sitting at eight and seven right now the Ravens the Chargers and the uh and the Raiders Ravens beat the Chargers. The Raiders beat the Ravens. And it's just, I don't even know how to explain it. But the Ravens are the seventh seed as of right now. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Upcoming, if they, if they went out, they're good. They're good. If they went out, they are straight. That's all you got to do. Now, that's no easy feat, and that is no easy task. It is not that simple. Like, oh, okay, we just won the next two games. It's okay, we got it. No, it's not. But it is so crazy that with everything that's transpired this season, with the Ravens alone, with every single injury, and again, like we say every single week, these dudes have been dealing with injuries from before week one. They've been dealing with injuries since the offseason, but it has literally continued from weeks one to week 16. And it has, it has not stopped. Even today, we don't know for how long yet, but we lost Anthony Averitt. We lost Tavon Young. Just today. So we don't know how long those guys are going to be out for. It's to be determined. We'll find out over the next probably 24, 48, probably 24 hours. But... With the injuries, and then on top of the injuries, oh, COVID. COVID has just jacked the Ravens up big time. And, and then there have been some questionable decisions, late game decisions, where over the, the minus this game, this game, like, <laughs> wasn't no late game decisions <laughs> that were questionable at all. I know some people want to be like, oh, man, Joe Burrow and them Bengals, they are classless. They're tasteless for running up the score. No, they're not. No, they're not. They, they, they tired of getting called the little brother in the AFC North. They tired of the Ravens steamrolling them all the time. Joe Burrow and them Bengals said, oh, watch this. It's four quarters. Stop it. If you don't want another team to score 
Stop it. If you don't want another team to throw a bunch of yards on you, stop it. It's up to you to stop it. It's not up to them to be like, all right, all right, y'all. Hey, let, 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 let's slow down now. Cut it off. Cut it off. No. That's up to you and your defense to stop it. Yes, you are depleted. Yes, the Ravens lost this, that, and the other. Bengals don't care. The game still got to be played. They still got to be played. So, hey, kudos to the Bengals for getting for sweeping the Ravens, for sweeping the Steelers. <laughs> they, they just been sweeping. Now, they did get beat up by the Browns a little about a month ago. And hopefully the Browns beat up on them again in two weeks. But we'll see when we get there. But as far as the Ravens to be in this position after everything, after losing four games in a row, just imagine, imagine if... One, maybe even two games. If some different decisions might have been made late in the games, who knows? We'll never know. But just imagine if it just two of those games could have swung a different way. Ravens would be in such better shape than they are right now. But still, it's crazy that we have in this conversation that they're in the seventh seat. Now, we talked about how this could change in the, in the next 24 hours. Well, actually, it'll be a little more than 24 hours. In about the next 28 hours, this could change. Because the Miami Dolphins play the Saints. Now, you know, Dolphins. Dolphins were another team that they whooped up on us, Ravens. They're in Miami, which was a Ravens home game. Even though a lot of Dolphins fans, they showed out for that game. But anyway, um, if Dol Dolphins play the Saints tomorrow Monday Night Football, if the Dolphins win, Ravens out the playoffs for now for now for now for now for now but if the saints win if the saints go marching in then the ravens would hold down that number seven seed this week and if the ravens win out you're good you're good the path to the playoffs is it will would be crystal clear all you gotta, all you gotta do, oof, all you gotta do, <laughs> and we say all you gotta do like it's so easy, cause it's not. But all they would have to do would beat the Rams, <laughs> oh yeah, and then beat the Steelers. Mm. That's all they gotta do. So tomorrow night, today, I was a huge Chiefs fan. I was a Broncos fan too, but when I found out that that game like really didn't do anything. Even though it probably should have, but it didn't do anything. I'm like, oh, uh, okay, no problem. I'll take it. But I was a huge Chiefs fan tonight. Chiefs, they came through in a big way. Seeing Steelers just look so, like, dejected from start to finish. It's like, even when, I, when it was 14 zip, I'm like, mm, yeah, okay, uh, whatever. But no. Nah. The Chiefs, they didn't let up. I thought they were going to. Ben Roethlisberger, he threw some picks. Uh, he had the, the little fumble. Like, toward the end of the game where they tried that little reverse, that whatever that was. And they, they just look bad. They look all kinds of bad. Like, bad, bad. Very bad. But I ain't complaining. I ain't complaining at all. But Saints, who that? Please. Saints have come through for the Ravens so many times. And I always tell y'all, these two teams are intertwined like that. They got big trust for each other. These two teams, they, they trade players back and forth. Uh, they sign each other's uh, free agents. They, like, I, think, I remember John Harbaugh said he bought a mattress from, like, Sean Payton's, uh, his brother, his uncle, something like that. I forgot what it was, but these, these teams are so intertwined, man, and they have been for years. Saints, please. We, we, we just asking you one favor. Please, Saints, just one favor. And with Dolphins, it's like Dolphins. I ain't got no problem with the Dolphins. But I, I would rather see the Ravens in the playoffs. And I know so many people are like, oh, if Ravens go to the playoffs, they'll be one and done. If they go to the playoffs, there's no point because they'll lose. Let's see. Let's see. I would much rather the, the – and I know yeah, your draft pick would be uh, lower. If you, the better your record, the, the, the more you do in the playoffs. I, yeah, I get that. And that's cool, whatever. 
But no, I, I'm i not one, oh, well, you, we should just lose the rest of the season. We should just tank the rest of the season. No, man. No, no, no. And I understand the injuries. I understand the, the COVID. I understand all that stuff. Trust me, I do. But I've never been one to just, oh, you know what, let's give up. Since everything looks like it's stacked against us, since it doesn't look like it's going to work out, let's give up. Nah, never been that way. Not in life, not as a fan of the Ravens, not as none of that stuff. Because you always got a chance. You always got a chance until you ain't got a chance no more. So, Saints, please take care of business tomorrow night. Us Ravens fans will be watching so closely as the Saints go marching in. And hopefully, after tomorrow night's game, when it comes to the Dolphins being in the playoffs... Hopefully they are out.